Okay, welcome everyone to the Baltimore County Public Schools Transition Team's virtual presentation of Job Corps. We have two representatives joining us tonight to give you some information on um, the program itself and how to get started. So um, I will introduce Kaylin. Is it Retina? Yep, you got it. Hi guys, thank you for joining. I'm an admissions counselor here at Woodstock, and we're just going to go over the um, orientation PowerPoint we use for orientation. Okay, so you ready for me to switch the slide? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sorry. There we go. So, Job Corps, we are nation's the nation's largest career training program. Um, we are free from. 16 to 24, you can apply. Uh, we have over 30,000 students enrolled and receiving training services. Our graduates receive national recognized certifications. There are 121 job for campuses across the United States and Puerto Rico. Uh, the length of training, it's a self-paced program, so it depends on what you're coming in for, but typically a student will take eight months to two years, and if you go on to advanced training, that adds the extra one year. Next slide. Just some statistics. We were established in 1964 by President Lyndon Johnson's War on Poverty. Um, we have more than 3 million young adults provided with career training and education, and our graduate outcomes are entry-level career placement opportunities, registered apprenticeship, military, college, or advanced training. Next slide. So there are some eligibility requirements um, to apply for job course. So everyone between 16 and 24 is eligible. Um, you can be older than 24, but you have to have a documented disability. Um, we do have to do a background check for every applicant. And we also do a drug screen. Um, so we'll talk about that on the next slide. Next slide, please. So when you arrive to Job Corps, you will be drug tested. When they do your physical, you'll also be drug tested. So it is called TIAP if you test positive for any illegal drugs, including marijuana. Upon entry, you'll be placed on TIAP. So um, it's essentially a 45-day probationary period so the student can clean out their system. And during those 45 days, you are not allowed to go home during the weekend. Um, so that way, when you are retested between the 35th and 45th day mark, you have to be clean. Or if you're smoking weed, the THC levels have had to have decreased at least 50%. Or else you will be removed from the program and not eligible to apply until one year later. So following off of um, that, we are a zero tolerance facility. So all job courts across the United States, Puerto Rico, um, it's a zero tolerance facility, so we do not tolerate any fighting, any gangs, um, any bullying, any harassment, any drugs on this campus. If you're engaging in any of that, you'll be brought in front of a fact finding board and they will determine your status on campus. Next one. So, Woodstock, we offer 11 or 12 trades right now. Um, they are landscaping, carpentry. Clinical Medical Assistant, CNA, Certified Nursing Assistant, Medical Office Assistant, Network Cable Install, Office Administration, Brick Masonry, Building Construction Technology, Homeland Security, Electrical, and Stationary Engineering is all offered at Woodstock. Next slide, please. So this is just to give an example of what some of our trade starting salaries are. So if you get into carpentry, that looks at 66,000 starting salary, and these are starting salaries. And yeah, brick 58, uh, network cable install is 61,000. BCT is gonna be 63. And then our medical trades are around 40 to 45. Next slide. So we provide to all of our students residential housing. 
Um, we are a residential program. We do have non-residential students, um, but only a couple. They have to get to Old Court Station by 7.15 a.m. Um, or have their own transportation to campus. But we also provide career skills and training instruction, academic instruction. So you can come in and get your high diploma or GED here, or you can come in and just get the training. Um, we have basic health care. We have mental health counseling, on and off-site paid internships. We have career placement and transition services for up to two years upon your graduation. You get a Chromebook while you're in the program. And of course, when you're here, you get free breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two snacks a day. Um, and then if you stay on the weekend, they do brunch just so you can sleep in some. Next slide. So how Job Corps works. So when you arrive, you will enter your career preparation period. So we call it CPP, and it lasts about three to four weeks. And during those three to four weeks, you are being introduced to your life, getting adjusted to it. Um, you're tape testing. You're entering your career pathway and developing your career pathway plan. Um, if you're not sure what trade you want to take, you can shadow three trades. Um, so you can participate in training area exploration. And you'll also complete your medical assessment and introduction to health and wellness services as to your physical. Next slide, please. So even if you're coming in and having your high school diploma, you will still have the tape test. And what that is, is um, basically seeing where you need support um, in math and reading. And then ultimately, the goal is to tape out. So it's getting the maximum score. And next slide. So after CPP, during your um, main time that you're here, you're going to be in your career development period. So that includes getting your high school diploma or GED, getting your trade down, um, doing work-based learning, uh, getting those employability and social skills, as well as independent living skills, job searching skills, um, service learning and community-based opportunities, um, leadership opportunities, progress evaluations, and transition readiness activities. So this is when you are about to graduate. You will enter your career transition period. So we call it CTS, and we have a CTS team. And upon your graduation, they will help you review your employment and career goals. You're going to receive assistance with whatever you want to do um, upon your graduation. So whether that be attaining employment, getting an apprenticeship, going to college, or even going into the military, they can still help you with that. You'll also receive a plan for independent living, um, such as housing, transportation, health care, health care, and financial planning. And, uh, So there's a problem with the volume. I think your mic is going out. Yeah, Kaylin, it sounds like your mic might be going out. Um, I can pick up where she left off. Hello, okay. my name is Miss Thomas. I'm also an admissions counselor here at Woodstock Job Corps. Um, so this is just a map of the Job Corps centers. Uh, we cover the Region 2 center, so we can send you to any center in Region 2. So, for example, um, Delaware, Pennsylvania. We can send you to Kentucky. We can send you to West Virginia, Virginia. It just depends on the trade that you want to take up. Uh, next slide, please. So you do get paid, um, incentive pay at Job Corps. So the first 182 days, you'll get $45 every two weeks. After that, you'll get $70 every two weeks. 
Tape testing games and GED credits ranges from five to fifty dollars. Um, transition pay. So when you're leaving the program, if you graduate with your GED or high school diploma while you're here at Job Corps, you'll get paid four hundred dollars. If you graduate completing the career technical training, you'll get six hundred dollars. If you come here and gradu graduate completing both while on center, you'll get twelve hundred dollars. So if you come to Job Corps, you get your GED or your high school diploma, and you complete a trade, you'll get twelve hundred dollars. Next slide, please. So child care allotment here at Job Corps. So the student must provide their admissions counselor of proof of dependency. So if you have a child, you can still apply to Job Corps. We would just need um, proof of dependency. So we would need uh, the child's birth certificate, social security card, and immunization records. If your child was born here in Maryland, we can definitely pull those records up for you. Um, allotment amounts should be matched by the government at five times the amount of allotment. Um, students may contribute $5 or $10 initially and then increase the amount to $15 if they choose after a minimum of 57 paid days in the Job Corps program. And this is just an example of our mental health event calendar. Um, so we look at hope for one week, peace for one week, joy, love for one week. We really try to uplift our students with positivity. And this is just an example of what the menu looks like. So you'll receive um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast starts at 7 a.m. to 7.45 a.m. Then you'll have classes at 8 a.m. until 3.30 p.m. You'll get two 15-minute breaks in between times as well as snacks. Um, at 4.30, you have dinner. Once you check in at the dorms, you'll have dinner at 4.30. If you don't like the options the cafe has, um, you can definitely DoorDash, Uber Eats, things like that. Um, on the weekends, we have brunch from 11 to 1. And as you can see, we have a variety of options. So we have like pancakes, grits, scrambled eggs, bacon, um, cereal, fresh fruit. So we have a variety of options for brunch, just so students can kind of sleep in a little bit on the weekends. And this is just an example of what our Woodstock Job Corps campus looks like. On the right-hand side, we have the Welcome Center sign, well, the Welcome to Woodstock sign. And on the left-hand side, we have one of the seating areas that we have on Woodstock. Um, we have plenty of seating areas on campus just so students can come out on a nice day on their 15-minute breaks or after class and kind of chill with other students. And here's some more pictures of Woodstock. So the top right-hand side, we have our security base. You'll enter within security and also leave through security. Um, we have on the left-hand side, our administration building. The administration building has our finance office, student records. Um, we have logistics, which students will pick up their Chromebooks as well as uniforms. And then you'll find your ACs, which is your admissions counselor on the third floor. So you can come up and speak to us and say, hey, or schedule an appointment to speak with us. If me be. And then on the left hand side at the bottom, we have the circle. You'll be very familiar with the circle. We hold graduations, um, career fairs, we have college fairs, we have different activities at the circle. And this is Spirit Week. Uh, we had Spirit Week a couple weeks ago. We had like 70s day, pajama day. We had different activities for the students. We had a student wearing a PlayStation 5. Um, we had a really good time during Spirit Week. And this is the career fair that I was talking about. Job Corps has a lot of partnerships with different um, organizations. So this is just an example of the students making those connections. Because again, at Job Corps, we're not here just to help you find a job, but we're here to help you find a career. And this is just an example of what our classrooms look like. We still do um, social distancing. So we do have the shields on the table as well as the tables distanced. And this is an example of what the girls dorm looks like. Um, we have pink walls on the girls side, yellow walls on the guys side. The only difference between each side um, is the girls have a kitchen. Um, the guys are not allowed on the girls side and the girls are not allowed on the guys side. And we do have dorm details. So um, you'll have to do chores when it's your turn. And this is an example of some of our students. They put their own little special touch to the dorm rooms. You can bring um, your PlayStation or your Xbox, your game system. Um, you'll be given a locker so you can lock those items up. You can bring your own sheets and pillows, but we do provide those items as well. 
and you can have um, up to I want to say three roommates so just be prepared for that some rooms it may be two person room it may be a four person room so uh, just be prepared for that as well we also have a student lounge where students like to hang out I know the guys like to have like tournaments they'll have the Xbox out and they'll have um, just different games out playing board games and things like that All right, so we like to tell our students that when they attend orientation, the next step is to reach out to whoever invited them. So they will call, text, or email whoever invited them and let them know that they're ready to move forward. We would then conduct a one-on-one -on -one interview just to get to know the person, why they want to join Job Corps, just to see if they're eligible. And then we have a couple of ways that they can complete the application. So you can complete the application through Adobe um, if you want to take the virtual route, or you can come to our in-person orientation. So Woodstock has the in-person orientation every Thursday at 10 a.m. You can come in, take a tour of the campus, talk to some instructors, learn more about the trades that you want to take, and then you'll be able to give us those needed documents so that we can make copies and then complete the application so that we can send off your background check as soon as possible. And this is just an example of what those documents look like. So on the left hand side is the document checklist. So we'll need a social security card. If you're 18 or over, please make sure that it's signed. Um, we would need your state ID or driver's license. If you are a minor, um, 17 or 16, we would need your parents' driver's license or ID. Uh, we would need your birth certificate, health insurance card, which of the front and back. We would need your school transcript or diploma. Um, we can take an unofficial school transcript as well. As far as income information, we can take pay stubs, benefit letters, or free lunch letters. So we can accept, uh, if you get food stamps or Medicaid, SSI, we can definitely take that and use that for income. If you had IEP or 504, we can continue those accommodations. We would just need a copy of the IEP or 504. And then we would need your immunization records. Um, if you were born here in Maryland, we can pull them up for you. And on the right-hand side is just a picture of uh, one of the pages of the application. All right, and that ends our presentation. We are open for questions. So does anybody have any questions? Hi, yes, I have a question. Um, I was trying, I wanted to know if there, and I don't know if you may have said this, I got on a little late, but um, do you happen to have like, time frames during the year for enrollment or is it open throughout the year? So it's open throughout the year. We have open enrollment. We enroll students every Tuesday. Um, we don't okay. have like summer breaks. We do have like a Thanksgiving break and we have a winter break and then students can earn PTO and then we have like professional development days. Okay. And your Woodstock location is the one that you're like at pushing for right now. Um, yes. However, if Woodstock doesn't offer the trade that a student wants to take, we can send them to another center within the Philadelphia region. So mm -hmm. um once your child has a missions counselor, they can let them know what trades they're looking at, and that way they can weigh their options to what center they would like to attend. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, if you, you came in a little late. You said I just put the slide up that shows the trades that the Woodstock Center offers. Okay. Okay. And like she said, if you know, if your student is not interested in one of those trades, they can find one in the region and send them there. So if a child if a child gets involved with Job Corps, that would be their school. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, so students who, a lot of students who have already graduated high school go to Job Corps, but it's also for students that maybe the high school setting is not the environment for them and they're having trouble you know, getting their diploma, they're having trouble attending school or anything like that, they can get their diploma at Job Corps or their GED while they're starting their trade. Okay. 
And is there any income guidelines for um, a child to enter into the program? Like, say, for instance, if they're under 18 type of thing and you want to do it when they're 16 or something like that? So, yes, for minors, we look at the parents' income. So we have a chart that we follow, and you can discuss that more with your admissions counselor once your child applies. Okay, okay. Because everyone's situation is different. Okay. So are there um, waiting, this is Marta, um, I'm the, one of the transition facilitators. So are there waiting lists for some of these programs? Uh, since I'm looking at the, the different ones that are there, I know that some of them said they were full when we did the tour. Yes, yeah, so for that? Woodstock, um, we are currently full with electrical, stationary engineering and business construction technology. All right, that helps. So then are there other similar ones at other locations in the area or are you the only one who does like the electrical and the um, building building and construction? So we are the only sensor that offers stationary engineering, but we have other sensors that offer um, electrical and business construction technology. Okay, all right, that's good to know. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? Yes, I did. I have one. So um, for non-minors, I have a, a son that just recently, well, graduated from BCPS um, 2023. So he's in his first, second semester of college. So if he wanted to transition to Job Corps, is that a possibility? So yeah, he was just, oh. oh, sorry, did my mic work that time? <laughs> yes, he absolutely can. We'll just take the picture of the high school diploma. Got you. And with the income guidelines, does that still stand? He's now 19. So if he's working, we would take his pay stub. But if he's not working um, and he, he lives with you, we would use what we call a statement of support. It's just an easier way to qualify adults who aren't working. It just asks if um, you claim him on your taxes and has you sign off. Okay, okay. And as for, um, are there any of the centers that kind of do a dual, like you don't necessarily want your child to go there for school? They're still in BCPS, but they want to take advantage of like the career training. Is there something that like that's dually offered for both? Like they still remain within their current school system, but they also take advantage of some of job course training. No. no. Um, okay. No, we would just, um, we have a program that helps you like transition into college. So that's the only thing that we deal with, with like that. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I like the idea that of the tr program that helps you transition into college. What is that called? Oh, so that's a part of the CTS. So mm -hmm. if you want to go to a college in Maryland, our CTS team will help you apply. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, of Any other questions? Do... Children who, have, if you have like some, sometimes have some of our girls may have a child, how does that work? So I kind of touched on that with the child care allotment. We would just need proof. Um, mm -hmm. So we would need to see the child's birth certificate, immunization records, and social security card. Okay. But they, they don't have like a child care place on campus or anything like that? No. And then we will also need a form, um, a child care form, basically saying that you have a child care back home. Okay. Since um, it's a residential program, so they'll be living on campus. We need to make sure that you have someone um, to care for your child. All right. Okay. Um, typically, how long does do your programs 
Are they structured to last for? So it's a self-paced program. So a student can come and job corps and say, I just want to finish right away, do everything they're supposed to do. And they could leave, I guess, based on the trade that they take, they could leave in eight months. So they could come here, get their high school diploma, take a trade. And also we provide driving school. So they could do driving school as well and get out of here in eight months. But I would say a trade like stationary engineering, you probably wouldn't get out of here in eight months because it's a lot of certifications that you're getting. Um, so it's a self-paced program. We give you about two years. If you want to take an advanced trade, we give you three. And do y'all offer any type of career placement once the um, child has gotten the certifications and things like that? Do you have affiliations with different companies where you can like get them into like a career or something like that so they won't feel like they did all of this and now it's just something i have yes so that'll be our um career transition counselors um our cts team they will definitely help when a student's about to graduate that's when they step in and kind of map out a plan and they will help them find a job as well as if they need assistance finding a place to live like looking for an apartment they also assist with that as well okay okay and we do have partnerships with different companies and organizations um so we definitely want them to leave um with a career okay Any other questions? So, uh, Shante and Kaylin, what is the best way for somebody to reach out to get this ball rolling if they're interested? Um, they can reach out to our coordinator as well as um, just fill in, uh, fill out an inquiry on Job Corps. So they can go to Job Corps website and fill out the, the um, inquiry and then be assigned an admissions counselor. And the admissions counselor should reach out within 24 hours. Okay. Any other questions before we say good night for the evening? Okay, well, thank you so much, Ashante and Kaylin, for joining us tonight and giving us this helpful information as well as answering some good questions. And hopefully, we will, some of these people will get connected. I hope so. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, thank you. Okay. I appreciate all their parents for coming out tonight, too. Yes, thank you for joining us. All right, so basically, that was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you've done the train, you've done this particular one before, so you had a better idea of it. Um, so I didn't want to ask there, but I was wondering if you said that they've come out to your school and done presentations before. Yeah. So they, um, they came to both Taos and Ann Lock Raven, but after they came to Lock Raven, they then told me they weren't going to come out anymore. Um, oh. they said it was like too much. I don't know. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, both, they were extremely late to Lock Raven and um, it was, oh. Are we still recording? 